and that that's interesting, Michael. I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought in those terms. And but it, it raises another question for me, and that is, do you feel that by by giving up a goal such as um, people being sober uh, who, who come and work at the farm, that um, it frees you to do your work differently, maybe almost like like the job of parenting. If we're if we're bound by particular goals we have for our children, we're not as free to see them as who they are. Would there be any parallels to that for you in, in the work you're doing at Soul Food? Do you think? Well, I mean, I think a lot of it is that the there's just no judgment. I mean, we don't. Um, I mean, there, we have a. You're not supposed to show up at work drunk or mm -hmm. or um, high. Um, mm -hmm. We don't dictate very much else. People are not allowed to smoke at work. They have to leave the the farms and go onto the street. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but other than that, we're you know we're really um, we're not engaged in trying to dictate to people. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. What, what we feel is right or wrong. That's just not my business. I'm, right. It's none of my business. Right. Um, you know, we, um, we feel that that sense of community that people are engaged in when they're out working together, working with living soil, uh, working with food and, and, and um, the, the, you know, the sense of meaningful employment is, is such a powerful thing in and of itself. We don't need to right. deal with the others, you know? Right. So, um, interesting. I, that's real. It's real. It's incredibly simple. We're not, you know, like we're not addiction ex or experts. Right. We're, we're not, um, uh, um, you know, psychologists or, or, uh, social workers. Right. We're just farmers. And right. so we keep it really simple. We, um, uh, we maintain an environment that is uh, supportive. It's not, people don't feel like there's a job hanging over their head. Right, right. Uh, and it's, the results have been amazing. Yeah. Right. Just to say, in this day and age, when, when surveillance is actually increasing, uh, and you go to almost any job and you'll be quarried and perhaps a drug test, that doesn't have any, that doesn't play any role in so food, needless to say. No, I can tell you if we did, if, uh, look, if, uh, if, for example, every time somebody fell off the wagon, they lost their job, there'd be nobody working with us. Right. If we did drug tests, we, you know, we'd have no employees. We, sure. we're not really, um, no, we're, we are, very, very careful to provide a clear uh, support in a very simple way. It's, yeah. you know, we don't cross those lines. And, um, uh, you know, yes, do we go beyond the normal relationships that exist on most commercial farms? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we provide rain gear, we have a breakfast program. Uh, we teach people how to drive if they want to learn how to drive. We teach financial literacy. Mm -hmm. We um, take them to the hospital or pick them up from jail. I mean, these are all things that would yeah. not occur right. in most farming operations. Right. Um, right. But, uh, and the, yes, so there are things that we do that go beyond a normal situation. But we, right. we try to do them without judgment. Yeah. We try. Is, is there anything, Michael, and, and certainly we, uh, we, we could cover loads more terrain, um, but is there anything that we haven't spoken of today that you feel would be good to, to leave viewers with? I think we've covered quite a bit, but I, I would say that I, you know, I am hopeful that uh, the future of the urban agriculture movement will become more agricultural, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that... Um, that I, I'm excited by the possibility uh, of cities uh, creating uh, uh, viable uh, enterprises within those cities that demonstrate how food is produced. Mm -hmm. I, I look forward to the day when the conversation expands beyond urban agriculture to how does urban, peri-urban and rural agricultural systems and food systems relate to each other. I, I think that's an important 
hmm. conversation. Not to see urban agriculture as an isolated movement. I gotcha. think that's a mistake. Gotcha. I think it needs gotcha. to be viewed in context with the broader food movement and with an understanding of how they relate and what's appropriate to grow and produce where. You know, so. Right. Very good.